Hello boys and girls and in today's video we will see how to farm slave pets from 60 level at this moment I am 62 but it does not matter I was 60 level when I start farming slave pets so I already record this video I'm just gonna demonstrate it to you so let's see This is simple arcane build. Now we're gonna check also frost build. Yes, yeah, this fireball I was trying to make some flame strike build, but I understand that points won't be enough, so I just didn't reset my talents in order to save gold and I just keep like that so you are improving your cross build like basically till ice barrier and you are going in arcane after after ice barrier We're gonna make simple short mob pool because we are 62 level and we cannot pull extra mobs because it's, it should be a little bit dangerous. But after 64 level, yeah, because on 64 you will open rank 5 ice barrier so you can already pull a little bit like around 50 mobs. Basically, make small pools before you will reach. 68 level because on 68 as i remember you will have max sunk blizzard and you can farm faster i am not recommended to pull that faster spot in this situation they were too close to me so i don't have any other choice i must pull them I will try to speak a little bit quiet, quiet because my dog is sleeping behind. I'm, I'm trying to go always from right side in order to pull next part to minimize my time and maximize my XP per hour. So if you cannot jump on this wall straight away, I'm not recommending you to try to pull the next pack. After the blizzard you will just directly go to that wall in order to try to jump and use ice block same time. So that's it, pool is done. After this we're gonna regroup this mob mobs and we will run to our farming position. So about farming position I'm gonna show if, if something goes wrong and you will fall down how to link up. Thank you. 
I'm always marking dead mobs because just in case I'm sometimes I'm checking some kind of details and to avoid some kind of extra situations. So wait. Go a little bit back. So as we can see, in order to jump there, you are aiming in that corner and simply just using blink. You don't have to try to jump. Just use blink. And in order to move properly on this wall, you are pressing walk. Because on your keyboard you have button which is allowing you to walk and run. So we are switching on walk. And we are moving slowly and slowly, so you can fall, fall down like that. So now I'm gonna uh, try to kill this mob, so if you don't want to see this, you can skip on this time. So I forgot to mention before, in order to farm these mobs, you are aiming with Blizzard on the floor, not on the wall, because I saw a lot of players are aiming on the wall, and then they cannot cast the Blizzard. So you, you must aim on the floor, and range will be enough to hit the target. I also heard from a lot of people that they are trying to make this run in 10 minutes, in 12 minutes, so point is that if you are making every run in 10 or 12 minutes, you can enter maximum 5 times in this dungeon, after in 1 hour, so after uh, 5 entrants you will, you will be locked. So you cannot enter six times. And you must wait like in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes in order to enter one, two or three times again. So in order to avoid this waiting time waiting, you can just make simply pull like 15 minutes, 14 minutes. If you are making big pulls, it will be better if you will make it in uh, 60 minutes. 16, I mean. Mm, uh, so, in that case, uh, you cannot be locked because you will always have extra one entrance in this dungeon. It doesn't matter if you are making small or big pulls. Yes, I know that XP per hour is full, but maybe you want to continue also 
put some farming slave and so in order to avoid this lockout better to make in my opinion at least 15 minutes As we can see, XP is pretty nice. 2000, let, uh, let's say 500, because it's okay. Sometimes we are receiving 2389. Okay, let's say 2400 experience per mob. If you are rested, you will receive around. 4,800 or 5,000 experience per kill so I can suggest to forget about questing go in slave pens and make your pools because when you will hit 70 level uh, you can earn more gold with questing because there will be no experience during completing the quests And for example, if you are getting from quest 4 gold, you will get 10. That's why I'm saying I have main character also made. I'm saying these green items in order to disenchant to maximize my profit. On this character I have mining, but I'm not gonna show in this video how to mine and how to avoid the extra mobs. So that's it guys, I hope it will be helpful for you, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe on my new channel because it will be very helpful, so thanks for watching guys.